it's october 7th i got home kind of late last night i'll show you what i was doing in just a second um but i figured i'd show my outfit very simple h&m everything h&m even my shoes are going to be h&m just my black little loafers so i wear these pants every single week because they're black and i can and i don't care um but yeah and it's finally the temperature. It's still going to be in the 80s, like low 80s. But for the last several weeks, I mean for the last couple months, we've been in the high 90s. <laughs> so we're finally cooling down here in Atlanta. Last night I was at my sister's house and with my mom. Um, and my we had dinner. We made like some tomato soup and grilled cheese. It was so good. Um, but we did a little fall craft and it actually turned out so good. It's really adorable and everything I'll link the video down below That my mom found on YouTube um, But everything that we used was from the dollar store uh, Dollar Tree to be specific um, And my mom bought all this stuff, but we she brought she bought enough for all three of us to make something so it's like a little um, wreath but we literally made all of it like we made these little bows and then even stuffed the legs so yeah it's like a little witch wreath so I'm gonna put it on my front door I think maybe not I don't know but uh, so cute hello hello hold on I just finished Jimin, let's see, filling out my little habit tracker thing. Um, let's see, I just worked out. Today was leg day. Uh, it wasn't the best workout, but it wasn't bad, you know, like, whatever. <sighs> okay, um, I was listening to uh, some podcasts. My headphones did end up dying during it, but... Um, Catherine Zankina, Zankina, Manifestation Babe, that's what I was listening to. But I need to wash my hair. And there's a coaching call in about an hour, it's 5.30 right now. So, um, yeah, I feel like I have a lot to do today. Um, I need to like edit a whole video and upload it. And then I didn't get the chance to go live yesterday on my patreon so i'll probably go live tonight um i don't know i'll see what ends up happening i think that's what i'm gonna try to do i mean i can do it all as long as i like focus and then i need to put up like some laundry um that's really it but just want to get everything done i also need to write like a couple of blog posts that i am behind on what is happening here I'm about to wash my hair but um yeah i need to write a couple of blog posts I wanted to like get them done this the beginning of the week but anyways i'm gonna go take a shower because i am sweaty what you actually want to do make that decision and then write out why you think that's the best decision for you okay and then do that and then all of the drama that comes up all of the if anything else comes up like if you decide Either way, you'll probably have negative emotion because you're learning how to make decisions for yourself here. So whatever comes up. She's not answering my question. I already asked the question, but I just love her. Like, I want to embody her. Like, she is my inspiration in life. And she just, like, stood up and um, shut the lights or turned the lights on in her apartment. And her outfit, she's like... Uh, she talks about this. Her name's Natalie Bacon, by the way. If you don't know, she is my life coach. I'm part of a group coaching program, and I'm obsessed with her. But um, she, like, gets dressed every day, even if she doesn't go anywhere. So she just was saying, like, she's wearing heels and a skirt and, like, I mean, you see. Like, she's all dressed up. She puts her makeup on. She does her hair every single day that she is, like, working from home, whatever. And, um, yeah, she was, like... You guys know how I do. It was just so cute how she, because she got up and she was like running in her heels. Anyways, 
I just love her. That's all I wanted to say. I just uploaded like, I have my retainers in, sorry. I just uploaded like the longest video of my life, but whatever. And it's like way past my bedtime. But I like would not have been able to, I mean, I would have, but I was so frustrated that I didn't, I wasn't on top of things. So I got my video up, whatever, good night. Hello, happy Tuesday. I don't know if I filmed today, but I just came up from the gym. Clearly, I'm disgusting. All I did, it's actually already 7.12. I didn't get home from work until like five. I had a long experiment today. Um, so I went down to the gym later. And all I did actually was 30 minutes of Stairmaster and abs, like back to back to back abs because I just feel really behind right now. Like I need to catch up on, I, don't, I just feel so behind on uh, everything and life. <laughs> so I'm a little overwhelmed and I'm trying not to feel that way. All right, well, there's no point of me talking about it. Let me just go shower and get started on what I need to do, what I'm behind on. So I will talk to y'all later. Good morning. 555 five, five is the most common number I have been seeing. Or 333 three, three, or 111. But 555, five, five, from my understanding, is a sign of change, which is interesting. Anyways, it is Wednesday. I have some stuff to do. I need to, oh, I need to make my coffee. Oh my goodness. Exciting. I've been going to bed late because I've just been either working or, uh, yeah, I've been just working late on my, my stuff, but, um, I went to bed probably at like 1030 last night, which if you know me, I go to bed at like nine, but the last couple of the last two nights I've been going to bed past 10 because I just like feel behind and then I wake up at five and I'm fine when I wake up, but then I'm like dead throughout the day. So it's not a good plan, but we're gonna make coffee. It's my pre-workout snack, delicious. It is such a beautiful day. I just got home from work. It's a little earlier than usual, uh, just because wasn't having a great day, so I um, left a little bit earlier. I'm pretty sleepy. Okay. That's why, like, I can't have my balcony door open, but. I'm pretty sleepy. I may take a power nap after I eat this and then go down to the gym. Um, so I've, like I said, I've been staying up late, but I do have lots to do and I'm kind of excited to work on, on it anyway. So that's, that's it right now. I'm so upset because I was at the gym, um, and I intentionally finished by 5.30 so I could come upstairs and get on the coaching call with Natalie Bacon. And it started at 5. I was, I didn't know. I thought, I swear it said 5.30. Um, I don't know what I, I was looking at. It clearly says 5 p.m. But I didn't get to ask her the question I wanted to ask. Um, she would have coached me, but it was like gonna be in the last couple of minutes of the coaching session and I did not want her to have to like stay over or I didn't want to have to rush my question so I'll just have to ask next time um but I was excited to get to talk to her and I didn't get to and I missed the last week's session because I went to meditation so I don't know I'm I'm frustrated to be honest because I really wanted to ask that question and I don't know, whatever. I'm just, today is not, today is not going according to plan and um, that's fine. 
I'm gonna go take a hot ass shower and whatever. Good morning, world. Got my pumpkin spice coffee. Um, it's 6.16 in the morning. I'm in the same spot. <laughs> uh, I didn't sleep well last night, mostly because I couldn't fall asleep due to thinking and like ideas and visualizing, which I think was a good thing, kind of. Like I enjoyed, <laughs> I, I am somebody who, um, enjoys thinking and likes to think so um it's whatever i mean it's probably better for me to to fall asleep but whatever I'm feeling a little better today and uh, i'm just gonna go to work and do what i have to do uh make the day really good once i get home i was gonna stop vlogging this week because i felt i just I don't know, didn't feel like my content was that great so far. Um, I didn't feel excited or happy in general. So like, I don't want to bring other people down, but uh, I probably still, I'll still post this. I need to film a finance update because, um, like financial update because somebody asked me, somebody asked me for like talking about general spending and all that stuff, which I actually, post the my debt my current debt the good news and the bad news every month and then uh like financial good news bad news and then exactly what i spent for the month on my blog and i do that every single month i'll link it down below i've talked about this before but i just find i finally got that up yesterday so it was like nine days into the month but that's okay um yeah, but if you are interested in the exact numbers of my spending and all that, go check that out. But I want to talk about, uh, you know, my current debt, some of the choices I have made, like um, sinking funds, balance transfers, things of that nature. I want to talk about loan forgiveness and, um, you know, upcoming elections that have to do with that and you know I don't know I'll discuss it in that I'm very opinionated on finances and um yeah anyways I need to get a little bit of writing done while I can I have like 20 minutes or so that I can write so I can knock out I'm, I'm still creating my course um I can knock out like a little section of that it's almost done uh, just like at least the draft of it. It's really long. That's why it's taking me so long and I want it to be amazing uh, And this is my first like legit course and I think it's gonna be it is gonna be great So um, that's why it's taking me so long. Here's my outfit um, I'm gonna be wearing these shoes from H&M. These pants are from H&M shirt is from Shirts from Kohl's and this little cardigan is from Target. Pretty sure I wear this shirt like every single week. I don't even know, I can't keep up, but that's it. Hello, I am at my desk. I was just editing a video and I got protein and protein. I did train legs today and um, I haven't had my protein yet. So, yeah, this is the, these are my favorite bars. They're just so expensive, but they're probably one of the healthiest vegan bars, uh, protein bars, whatever. Uh, Go Macro, I like this one. Protein, purity, sunflower butter, and chocolate. I love the texture of these. They're like chewy. Hello, hello, happy Friday before a three-day weekend. I have just returned home from work. Uh, today I'm going to, I'm not that tired right now, surprisingly, because um, I didn't sleep long enough, but I'm gonna make this protein instead because it has caffeine, only what you need, uh, cold brew coffee. Owen, only what you need. But I like this one a lot. Maybe I should just stick with this brand. I don't know, but. 
yeah, probably going forward, I'll just stick with this brand. Two scoops. We're going to weigh it out. I am also making my avocado toast. I need to get quite a bit of work done, just like, you know, for my blog and for YouTube. So I need to finish editing a video, do a voiceover um, for my full day of eating, which will be up before this because it's going up today. So go check that out. I'll link it down below. Um, I'll link this protein down below as well, by the way. And then um, I need to film my workout today. So I think I'm going to... I am going to train shoulders because otherwise it would be back and I just filmed back. So yeah, I need some energy for that. So that's why I'm having this one. Starting my avocado toast. But as usual, what I typically do when I get home is like while I eat my pre-workout meal is I'll watch a YouTube video just because like I, I've talked about this before. I know it's not a good habit per se to uh, watch TV or watch videos while you're eating because you're not very mindful, yada yada. But it's something that I prefer to do and makes me happy. So I do it because it's just one little thing, you know? Hopefully somebody uploaded. But I'll see you guys in a bit. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Started off my day with some protein. This is from Vivo Life Protein, raw plant-based protein with BCAAs. I had the Madagascan vanilla, and I just weigh this out for one serving size. All right, voiceover is done. Gonna go down to the gym now that my food has digested a little bit, and going to film. So I'm filming shoulders today, like I said. I am limited on workouts that I can do because of my gym. Uh, so hopefully you guys still like it. I am bringing this camera down so it like, I'm hoping it's not too busy, but it does attract a little bit of attention, but I don't really uh, care too much because I don't like talk to the camera. If you want specific workouts, Please let me know, but uh, I I don't work out from home. Like I'm not in my room, typically in my apartment with no equipment. I go to my apartment gym and there is equipment there, just limited. And I prefer weightlifting, not like plyometrics or things like that. So keep that in mind because I don't really want to change what I am comfortable doing, you know? But yeah, I will keep showing you my workouts if you are still interested because people keep asking me. All right, just finished my workout, came up from the gym. It was a good workout, shoulder workout, and I filmed everything. Um, it was kind of crowded in there, so like a lot of people saw me filming, but I don't really care. And I'm able to like position it so that I don't get people on camera. But anyways, oh, I did want to, uh, clarify that I, I don't know if I've talked about this before but like I sweat a lot I sweat everywhere a lot mostly my face and like my chest but mostly my armpits and I have a uh, self-diagnosed <laughs> um what's it called what's it called what's it called hyper something hyper hyperhidrosis is what I consider it um, so that is why, like, even if I'm not working out, I am sweating. Not this much, only if I, like, get really hot. Yeah, but I sweat a lot. I can't really help it. That is just how my armpits work. Even if I'm using, like, um, extra strength deodorants, it didn't work in the past. Now, for the last few years, I've been using natural deodorants. As you guys know, I, strug I have struggled to find a deodorant that, like, kind of helps with sweating, but more importantly, stops odor. Um, and the best one I have found is Meow Meow Tweet. But once I use a deodorant for a couple of months, it doesn't work as well. So I kind of have to like switch it up. Um, it's, I can't really win this battle right now. <laughs> I eventually want to get like, I think it's called 
mirror dry or something i don't know it's some sort of laser treatment you could get botox but i don't think botox is vegan i'm not really sure um and that's temporary but the other one is more permanent solution and it like shoots your sweat glands or something like i don't mind sweating a little like a normal person but it gets a little excessive and it's like i wear gray i don't it's whatever like i'm at the gym i don't really care um but just wanted to clarify that because you've probably seen it before it's really annoying but it could be worse you know could be a lot worse and actually this story is going on way too long but my dad i think i got it from my dad uh he had severely sweaty hands so like he constantly had to keep a paper towel or napkin in his pocket because he meet like shakes a lot of hands and he would constantly have to uh wipe his hands because they would sweat and um it, they would just sweat all the time and he ended up getting his sweat glands removed from his hands which your sweat glands i guess are not in your hand like where that body part is it was in his chest that he had the surgery like somewhere i think beneath his rib cage um he got those removed the ones that go with his hands and now he sweats everywhere else like really bad uh so he does regret that surgery so if you've uh if you know somebody or if you are somebody who is considering that then he does not recommend it just fyi but my sister has this issue as well. I think she had it worse before and it's gotten a little better as she's gotten older. So hopefully that's what happens for me. Um, but it on, it could be worse. It's, it's just sweat, like whatever. Okay, I have done everything on my to-do list. I even wrote up my grocery list for tomorrow. I'm kind of upset because today El Camino came out. Which, if you don't, on Netflix, which if you don't know what that is, it is the follow-up movie of the Breaking Bad show. Um, I watched Breaking Bad for the first time this year. Loved it. Amazing show. Highly recommend. It's five seasons, all on Netflix. If you're looking for a show to watch and you've never seen it, it came out years ago. Um, but they just now made a movie and it released today. And literally, the only Friday ever that Sebastian is not here it comes out so we'll probably end up watching it tomorrow night and that's fine I'll, um, I might watch a movie on my own tonight not that one even though I really want to see it but I'll probably watch a movie before bed because it's Friday night and I can wake up a little bit later tomorrow I've gotten a lot of stuff done but um, I want to start and maybe finish my blog post for uh, Sunday. I made myself the calm drink that I showed in my last vlog. Uh, I'll link it down below. It's so comforting. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here because I will start vlogging tomorrow. Since this is a long weekend, I'll probably vlog the weekend. I hope you guys had an awesome week or have an awesome start to your week depending on when you're watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you in my next video.